Boom, 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 boom. Five Star Live Entertainment with another Sound Clash prediction for the big clash that's coming up October 19th at Club Amazura. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to War Zone Entertainment for putting on this clash, man. We got two big, big sounds that's going to meet up at Club Amazura October 19th, next week, Saturday. And um, like I said, if you can't make it to the venue, man, you can always watch it right here on 5starlifeentertainment.com. Get your pay-per-view. Early bird tickets is only 10 bucks, And the day of the clash, it'll move up to 20 bucks, man. So make sure you get your early bird tickets right about now, man. So you got Shockwave versus Notorious International. You know what I'm saying? With Little Shaba and Bad Gal Marie. You know what I'm saying? They out of Jamaica. Shockwave is um, out of um, New York City. Um, Shockwave do have the home field advantage, but I feel like with Little Shaba past experience clashing in the New York Mecca, he also um, he's, he's 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 a favorite to win the clash. You know what I'm saying? But really and truly, I think it's gonna all boil down to some big tunes into the final rounds of the clash. You know what I'm saying? Um, Notorious is very entertaining. Shabazz is definitely going to put a show on and entertain the crowd. But like I said, um, I feel like, this is my prediction. But before I give you my prediction, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more contents like these. And um, hit that um, like mark, man, if you like um, this prediction. But here's what I predict. I feel like um, Shabba is going to entertain the crowd, which New York people love. You know, the entertainment and, and, you know, all that good stuff. But, like I said, when it gets to the wee hours of the rounds, when it gets to the, like, the third and fourth round and some big tunes got to play, that's what it's going to boil down to. And, and I don't know. I haven't seen yet if Little Shaba could, um, you know, be on that level with Shockwave. I know um, Shockwave dub box very deep. Um, they had a very impressive win at their last clash. On the other hand, Notorious had an impressive win throughout the Boom Clash tournament. But you can't compare Boom Clash to the Sound Clashes and in, in, in the Sound Clash Mecca, which is New York. You know what I'm saying? It's two different worlds. You know what I'm saying? So I hope Little Shaba don't think that's the type of clash that's going to be set in New York, or he's going to try to get away with playing the way he played in Boom Clash in New York City. So there's gonna, there needs to be a lot of adjustments on his part. And um, I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be up to the crowd, man, to decide, you know, who's the better sound and who's going to play the bigger tunes. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the new tune will be a factor in this clash. I... I, I I don't think so. Maybe like the first round, but after that, it's who could deliver some big tunes, some big speech, and you know what I'm saying, and who has that crowd control. Um, Little Shaba do have that. Uh, we seen it when he played against, or when he played against King Addies, and when he played, really when he played against um, BS Odyssey, he showed that he can control the New York crowd and play tune and, you know, get the fours that he, he, he needs to get. But is his box ready for him to be on his own and to face one of um, New York's toughest sound right about now? Like I said, Shockwave do have the home field advantage, but Little Shaba got the experience and he know what needs to be done to win a clash. So is he going to do that or is he going to come in with his boom clash experience and thinking he could steal the crowd away like that. I don't know. That's for y'all to decide, man, that day, man. So I'm saying, this is my prediction right now. If Little Shaba could control the crowd and win all the rounds, the only way I could see Notorious International winning is by way of lock-off. They need to win all, all three or four rounds, whatever the rules is. That's the only way I could see Notorious winning this clash. If not, and this clash go into, like, tune for tune, I have Shockwave for the win. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's my my opinion. You know, if you have something different, feel free to share it in the comment section down below. 
And like I said, if you can't make it to the clash, you can't make it to the venue, you can always watch it live on pay-per-view at www.5starliveentertainment.com. The link is below at the description um, area. Just click it and get there, you know, get to watch the clash. Don't forget, we got early bird tickets starting off at $10 right now. $10 for early bird tickets. The day of the clash is going to go up to 20 bucks, man. Even the VOD is going to be 20 bucks. so get your tickets right now. All right? See y'all there. October 19th, you know what I'm saying? Thing called Burial Ground, Warzone Entertainment. Featuring Shockwave versus Notorious International. Boom, boom, boom. See y'all there. All right.